Hi, I'm Shepard Cox. Um, I'm a junior here at St. Louis Park High School, and today I'm going to be talking about the 15% grade or 50% grading floor, and is it fair? Um, so I've heard a lot of varying opinions about from teachers and students alike about this topic, and I feel like it kind of dates back to last year. Um, some teachers opted to use this 50% grading floor as a way for students uh, just just uh, to try it out in their classrooms and see how it works, and I think. I think, for me personally, I didn't really notice a, a difference with it because I didn't have a lot of assignments that were graded um, below a fifty percent. Like um, most most assignments, if I didn't do well on, would still be in the seventy percent range, and a lot of and the rest of them would be higher grades. But then there's some there's some instances where like some people I know might have been sick for some days or forgot to do an assignment and. For classes where it equal where it becomes a zero in the grade book or anything below fifty where it becomes a ten or twenty percent or thirty percent, I think it does make a difference um, with how. And um, so for classes that it is that that is below fifty percent, I can definitely see how it's useful for some people and how um, having fifty percent grading floor um, helps you kind of recover in that class. And I think. Um, I personally think that overall it was a good addition to have the 50% grading floor across all classes because it makes the grading in the classes similar. Like for all classes, it's it's state st- or it's um, school standard to have 80% uh, for or 80% summative and 20% formative, um, like grade parity in all classes. And so I think by making all classes kind of have a similar um, grading process, I think it makes e- it easier for students to understand um, how to complete assignments and to kind of like get a sense of how they have all the classes kind of be similar. But I also definitely think that it kind of um, covers up a problem that maybe isn't talked about in how in um, in classes like, um, or in, in some classes where you don't entirely um, like get stuff done. Like, like let's say let's say there's a class where you just didn't put good effort in or you didn't understand a subject. Let's say, let's say, let's say you have a math quiz and you get like, one one of five questions right. I think it kind of the fifty percent grading floor makes it feel like you're not as far behind in that class as you think. Like because it gets put at a, a floor of fifty, you, you can feel more comfortable and you feel like you're not far behind, which is good. It may, it's easier on a student, but it also kind of covers up this problem of well, what if you're not understanding the subject? And I think I think what it what's important is fifty um, percent grading floor. It makes it so like you don't have to feel behind. And I feel like in a, a lot of people I know, and I've heard teachers talk about this too, um, that if a kid doesn't get an assignment in, it can look really bad against their grade, especially if there's not a lot of summatives in the book. Or if, it, or if it was a summative assignment and they missed it, it can feel like a lot to catch up. And when you have to start catching up and working in a class, you miss out on the work that you actually have to do currently in that class. And so I feel like for some students, it's it, 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 sto- it prevents them from staying with the class and forces them to have to make up assignments. And I feel like there's co- maybe a better way to go about that. And do I have the answer? No. But I think as a whole, we need to focus on um, teachers making sure students understand a subject. Because I think at its core, what school is about is it's about students understanding and finding a passion for something. It sh- it, while, yes, grades are important, it's important that you stick with the class and understand everything about the class. It should be about what draws you in and what do you find interesting and how, how, how do you individually understand that? And I think as an international baccalaureate school, we should kind of reside more in these conversation-based stuff and these um, and sharing your thoughts and opinions and not having to worry about, say, a grade. I mean, there's like, I think sometimes in like Socratic seminars, like, like teachers will make it an emphasis, like you have to share three times and like, and like you have to get your voice in a discussion, which I could argue well, yes, it's important to share your voice multiple times. Sometimes people get carried away with that, and they they share too much, and it allows not a lot of room for the people. And so some people need to capitalize on that room that they're given. And I think if you have great ideas and you can share a great idea and back it up and provide reasoning to it and share something that's kind of has been thought about, I think that should be graded higher. Just because you didn't get three, uh, three, you didn't um, get your voice in three times doesn't mean that. Um, doesn't mean that you should get a bad grade. Like, like, like all, all points are not always equal. Some people share a lot of base stuff, and, and some people share a lot of, like, more deeper meaning stuff. And so I feel like there's situations like that. There's situations like um, science classes where 
fifty percent grade four might actually be really helpful because science classes, especially if you take an honors class, move at a very accelerated pace and and it's important to like I said, keep up in those classes but not feel kind of lost or behind. But it but once again you get back to this idea like, well, if you don't understand one unit, like, um, you might not understand the next unit. If if you did bad in one thing but you have a fifty percent grade and it doesn't hurt your grade that much most students might not try to make it up. Whereas I feel like I feel like this also dives into a deeper issue of maybe we're approaching a retakes wrong. Like if a student is willing to apply themselves and try harder um, at a class to get a better grade, I think they should earn that grade. If, if, if they do a retake and they get 100%, it shouldn't go in the grade book, it's an 80%. It shouldn't go in the grade book, it's an 85%. It should, it should be reflective of how they understand it now. Because I think... There's a lot of factors that teachers don't consider when grading. Like, s- there's more to school than just school. The students have family issues. They have long-term, um, long-term issues outside of family, or they've got, they've got a medical emergency, or they've got um, various things. And not that every instance is equal. Like, is, pl- is sports practice a good excuse? No. Is, is, um, is going to a sports game instead of doing homework a good excuse either no it, you should prioritize school first and foremost but i think teachers could do a better job of of allowing these discussions with students and trying to understand where they're coming from and i think some teachers like to make a class for them and a class that works for how they teach but i think what needs to be made an emphasis of is is maybe not how do i teach for me as a teacher but how do i teach for my students and how do i make my students understand and Every student has individual experience that changes how they feel about something, and I think we should we should cater to those individual experiences and see how can we connect these things to make a student understand what they like to do more. While I while, while we, I think that we should generally be in favor of the fifty percent grading for, I think there are some problems. Like we talk about the use of uh, artificial intelligence or AI in works, and how now now the schools do change has a lot of changes in grading policies and how they have to report if you use AI. You have to sign all these agreements and say that you won't do it again and you get, but the, I think the key part about this relating to our story is um, is you only get a 50% in the grading book, but I feel like me personally, I think you should get a zero for it because if you're not willing to put in your own work and at least try, then you, should, you don't deserve even 50% because the amount of effort you put in is not reflective of that. And I think Grades not obviously should be reflective of what you know, but should be also reflective of the effort you put in. And if you take time in class to work on it, and if it's something that clicks for you, that doesn't need to be a problem. Like if you don't take, if it only takes you um, 20 minutes to understand a subject, and you can take the test and you can do really well on it, then it doesn't really matter. But if if you take 20 minutes to work on it, and then you do really bad on the test, I think it can it can be reflective of you've got to try more. And I think I think the 50 percent grading for as a whole. Has, it has a lot of ups to it. It, it. it makes it easier for kids to catch up in class. It makes it so you can manage multiple classes because there's a lot of stuff on your plate. And I think it encourages students to still learn. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think it discourages learning. I think it, it's better than getting a straight zero in the grade book and having to make up a steeper hill. But I think it also, it, it's not quite the solution. I think the solution lies deeper than just making a 50% grading for and it lies deeper in how do we teach classes and how do we encourage assignments or how do we encourage kids to do their work and how do we how do we bring an emphasis on learning and not an emphasis on grading because overall I think there's been a divide in the school amongst teachers and students about how we approach these things and I think at the end of the day the teachers know how to teach and the students are there know how to learn and I think they're both going they both need to work in tandem together so there's no reason in creating a divide and not talking about these things. I think it'd be, I think the school, the, the students, the teachers, the parents would all benefit from coming together and discussing how they feel about these things. Because if we don't talk and we don't discuss about these current situations, they're not going to get any better. Like, are they going to get worse? Who knows? Are the, things might not change at all, most likely. And But the way they will change is if we do talk about them and how we feel and what can be changed different. Thank you for listening.